Hello. I think I'm right to start speaking now. I hope I've got this right and I'm not speaking over anyone else. Uh, it's really fantastic to be here to be part of this um, extraordinary and very important event. My name is Maureen Beatty. Uh, I consider myself to be a European. As you can hear from my voice, I am a Scot. Uh, who was born in the Republic of Ireland and um, I have applied for my Irish passport so I look forward very much to rejoining um, my friends in Europe um, as soon as that comes through. Um, I am an actress and I am the president of Equity. We are a union of over 47,000 performers and other creative practitioners working in the entertainment industry. The pandemic has had a devastating effect on my industry and on its workers. With the closure of performance spaces from theatres to circus tents, from pubs and clubs to city squares, from concert halls to arenas. And at the same time, the venues where our members found employment when not working in their chosen field of expertise were also shut down. Despite the best efforts of equity and our fellows in the Federation of Entertainment Unions and the many battles we have won and continue to fight on behalf of our members, woefully inadequate government support for self-employed creative workers affected by the continuing shutdown of live entertainment has left one in four equity members unable to manage financially. 40% have had no help from SEISS. One in five have been forced onto universal credit and 20% tell us that they are planning to leave or tragically have already left the industry. The last thing they need is another barrier to their ability to work when reopening across Europe is possible. Just within the UK, people in the entertainment industry travel to work from Plymouth to Shetland, from Cardiff to Belfast. The freedom to travel through Europe in similar unfettered vein is essential to the ongoing health of my industry. Before Christmas, we had already received reports of casting breakdowns for television and film, requiring only EU passport holders to apply. And job ads for circus and other touring overseas performance work recruiting in the UK have been making similar demands. Add to all this our concerns about the Creative Europe funding which is crucial for so many arts organisations across the UK not being replaced, and the lack of commitment to the EU Copyright Directive. It feels like our government has pretty much abandoned us. And of course, these restrictions on free travel have the greatest impact on those already struggling the most. Those from lower income backgrounds, the members of our de deaf and disabled community, those who are subjected to racist abuse, those from our LGBT plus community, our older members, our members who identify as female, and of course, our members who are non UK born artists are also particularly vulnerable. A government report published in February 2020, so just before COVID really began to take hold stated that the creative industries contributed more than £111 billion to the economy in 2018. And growth in the sector was five times larger than growth across the UK economy as a whole. £20.8 billion was contributed by our film and television industries alone. The report ends with a quote from the then Minister for the Creative Industries, Nigel Adams. He said, The creative industries encompass the best and brightest of UK businesses, and these figures paint a vibrant picture of creativity and talent in our country today. I would like to congratulate all those within the sector 
whose hard work and ingenuity means the industry is making a staggering contribution of nearly 13 million pounds to the national economy every hour. 13 million pounds to the national economy every hour. I would ask the Prime Minister and the government to put their best efforts into protecting an industry and the workers who make that industry so great, not just in terms of the economy, but also in the kudos that we bring to the way the UK is viewed by Europe and the rest of the world. I would like to finish with a quote from the composer, broadcaster and writer Howard Goodall. He said, everything we do as creative artists is about removing barriers between people. We do collaboration, reducing conflict, bringing people closer, unity, friendship, enjoyment and shared experience. He goes on to say that if the barriers in the way of our creative industries in Europe are not removed, then those responsible are, and again, I quote, people with a lamentable grasp of who and what contributes to our country's wealth and well-being. I urge you, Prime Minister, to get behind an industry which has given the UK so much for so little in return and open up the borders between the countries of Europe so that we can work unfettered. Thank you. <laughs>